All right, welcome back. Um, here's the second problem that we're going to see when we do uh, assignments for uh, a grade for NOVA. So once again, we're in unit 3.8. We're going to call this cumulative cash flow. So what happens with this is cash flow is not going to be the same from year to year. Um, some years are going to be higher, some years are going to be lower. Um, so the problem of when you're going to get your money back is going to change. And we call this a cumulative cash flow problem or a cumulative cash flow payback problem. So the first step, part A, that you're going to do is we have a million dollars that's out there. And we're going to sign, oh, we'll say we're going to sign Pat Hogan a million dollar contract to the Buffalo Bills. So the Buffalo Bills, they're going to want to know when they're going to get their money back off of that million dollar investment. And here's how you're going to do it. So year one, the Bills predict that they're going to make $200,000 off of signing me for that million dollar contract. At the end of the year, the Bills will have $200,000 in the bank. The next year, year two of my contract, I bring in $340,000 to the Buffalo Bills. Now I have $540,000 in the bank. And how do you get this? After year one, you have $200,000 in the bank. Now you have year two, you have $340,000, $200,000, plus 340,000 equals 540,000. At the end of year three, I bring in a whopping $430,000 to the Buffalo Bills because I'm so good. At the end of that third year, the Bills will have $970,000 in the bank. They still haven't made their million dollars back. So now they got to keep me for another year. And in that fourth year of my contract, I hurt my knee, I recover, and I only bring in $360,000 to the Buffalo Bills. At the end of year four, Bills have made back $1,333,000 okay, off of their investment after four years. The bills want to know when, at what point are they going to get that money back? Well, it's not at the end of year three, so they have to keep me another year. So it's going to take at least three years in how many months? That's what we need to figure out with this cumulative cash flow. So we have one, two, three. It's going to take three years. Somewhere in that fourth year, the bills are going to get their money back. Does that make sense? Because you can see at the end of year four, they've got $1,330,000. When are they going to get that million dollars back? That's what they're trying to figure out. So if my video photographer guy can come over and um, pause this one, we'll go to part B next. Part B.